when we were growing up on the farm, you know, Dad was always concerned about our safety. So there were some large animals he didn't want us around. You know, don't go around the bull, but you can work with the calves. Or don't go around the boar, but you can go with the little pigs, or, or whatever the case may be. One of the things in the shed where he had seed and chemical, Dad was always concerned about us being around corn insecticides. He said, wow, you really got to be careful around that thymet, and around that diphenate, and around furidan. that counter, and furidan. Yep. And there were really some harsh products back in the 70s and 80s. All those products are gone, Brandon. Now, well, today gone we're... or they're applied in packages that don't allow much human contact, like counter, I think of, and whether it's lock and load or smart boxes or something like that, it's just enclosed systems. But yeah, we are lucky to have the pyrethroid family of insecticides now, so you can use force, for example. I mean, the pyrethroids, they come from a flower. It's much safer to humans. We have some really safe choices, uh, at least relatively safe for humans, uh, and also safe out in the environment. So things have changed quite a bit in this game. So if you're thinking about planting corn and using an insecticide, uh, that's a good thing, and we'll talk about which products to choose. If you're thinking, you know, instead of that, I'm gonna choose another alternative, I'm just gonna use a trait, you may rethink that decision a little bit. Well, the reason why is because we're seeing a lot more rootworm resistance to single trait BTs now. Now, we're talking about whether it's Yield Guard or Herculex, any straight single BT, that's what we're seeing issues with. In our area, for example, where we farm, if you don't use at least two traits and some insecticide, most likely your corn's going down. It's not a real good deal. But nevertheless, we still have some rootworms that are controlled by these single BT traits, so some guys are trying that and going full rate insecticide. But what we advise you to do if you're in an area that has any rootworm resistance at all is go to double trait. You can go to a smart stacks corn. There are all kinds of choices out there that are smart stacks. So you're getting two different rootworm traits. And even if a bug is resistant to one, hopefully it's not resistant to the other. Well, and the other thing to think about too is when we're talking about these rootworm traits, they don't control every insect out in the field. There's no trait out there that's gonna stop all the wireworms. Uh, there are some traits that will have some activity on cutworms and others that won't. Uh, there, there's just a ton of other bugs that could impact your seed. White grubs, we don't have BT products that stop them. I mean, if you've got any of those other insects, you really need to be using some insecticide too. Now the question is, do I use a half rate of insecticide with my BT traits? Do I use a full rate or somewhere in between? Uh, as Brian kind of mentioned, we're typically using that full rate because we've got a lot of pressure out there. But the other thing that you might think about, even if you say, well, I don't know if my rootworms are necessarily completely resistant, but I know this about BT traits. The bug has to take a bite out of the root to ingest that BT protein. Every time they take a bite, now I have an open wound on my root system where diseases can get in and now I'm gonna see more stalk rot and other problems with my plant growth. If I can use an insecticide and kill 80 to 90% of the bugs before they touch my roots, that could be a good thing too. Yeah, here's the thing you've gotta understand with any of these insecticides, and I don't care if we're talking force, Aztec, capture, lores band, counter, anything, the best you can hope for is 90% control on corn rootworms, that's it. You might get 80% control, you might get 85% control, but at best, you're probably gonna get 90%. Okay, so if you only have a few bugs out there, no big deal. But boy, if you have a tremendous amount of insects, this is a real issue. So that's why also we talk to farmers a lot about using insecticide consistently over a period of years to keep your populations down. Now, and many farmers, Brian, that I talked to have bought a new planter over the last few years. Hardly any of them are set up with dry insecticide boxes. So you've got a couple of choices. You can get set up for liquid, to be able to apply capture LFR very easily and yep. pretty inexpensively. That's probably the cheapest way to get into insecticide. And you could already be set up for starter fertilizer. You could potentially mix that capture LFR right with your starter. The other thing you can do is put a smart box system on your planter and they're really pretty effective. And like Brian was talking about earlier, now you have a closed handling system. So you don't have to be dumping bags of insecticide or, and breathing in you know, that dust and this kind of thing. Uh, you just snap those boxes on and it works pretty nice. So those are two of the alternatives that are becoming really popular. And you also have a lot of choices like in the smart box system of different products that you can use, which is a really nice luxury too. As a general statement, Force and Aztec are gonna be the best rootworm products but Lorsban is less expensive as a dry. Also, Capture is much less expensive and it's a liquid product that may be easier for you to handle. 
So even though Lohr's Mana Capture aren't quite as good as Force or Aztec, if you say, well, I'm gonna use a trait anyway, and I'll just use Capture or Lohr's Band, save a bunch of money there, it'll probably come out fine. Our one piece of advice for you, though, is if you're in continuous corn and you've had lodging problems, you've had rootworm problems in the past, I'd hit it hard. And I'd go with Smart Stacks, I'd go with the best insecticide product you can get at the full rate, because if you want top yields on your farm, we talk to farmers all the time that complain about their continuous corn yields, rootworm issues is one of the main reasons why they don't have the best yield that they could. Well, there are many reasons to use an insecticide on your corn this spring. Take a look at the different choices that are out there, the different application systems. There are really some safe products to use and some good systems you can implement as well. Having a good insecticide is important if you want top yields, but so is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it coming up next.